Welcome. My name is Norbert Meyer. I'm the managing director of BitControl. I would like to introduce our de design software Aqua Designer. Aqua Designer is the practical software for the design of wastewater treatment plants. With Aqua Designer, you design the water and sludge path and thus the complete plant. Our software can also be used to recalculate or verify existing plants. The special feature of Aqua Designer is its great depth of planning and its wide range of functions. A flowchart shows the different variants you can calculate with Aqua Designer, like for smaller activated sludge systems, the design according to the DWA A226, generally for continuous flow and activated sludge systems, the A131, for sequencing batch reactors according to the M210, and for membrane bioreactors, the M227 from the DWA. You are guided through the calculation by the flow chart, step by step. In the steps, you are supported by specific values and Heinz according to the DWA standards, like here the special values for the loads. The core of the design in Aqua Designer is the biological part. For example, the biological volume. Here you have the different denitrification processes like separate stage, intermittent, simultaneous, combined, and also all these processes for cascaded systems. The phosphate elimination, chemical and biological with different precipitants with or without an anaerobic volume and the external carbon dosage. And this all for simultaneous aerobic sludge stabilization, extended aeration, or for separate anaerobic digestion. Existing plants can be verified by the way you are inserting the real values for your um, existing billion, uh, buildings. Here, for example, for four lines activated sludge system, four lines of activated chambers, rect rectangular chambers, and here you insert the real values. And then with the real values of your buildings and with the real load values, you can calculate the parameters of your existing plant. You get the real total sludge age, aerobic sludge age, oxygen demand, surplus production, or the outflow concentrations for nitrate, um, ammonia, and so on. During the design process, you have uh, databases for the machines like blowers, pumps, mixers, and aerators. Here, for example, for the blowers. You have a huge data bank and the best matching machine is always pre-selected. So you go through step by step. The last step is the return sludge pumping and the recirculation. And here, again, in data banks, you have a lot of pumps. Then, if one line is marked green, you have completed the design of the activated sludge system and you can add, for example, the grid and grease chamber, which is also designed by Aqua Designer, the sludge treatment like the thickener, separate anaerobic sludge stabilization or anaerobic sludge stabilization. Here the volume you need, then the gas production, the current and the heat production. You get a mass balance for the sludge 
at the different steps and the supernatant. Then, after calculating the water line, the sludge line, you can add peripheral processes or steps, like inflow pumping station, inflow measuring, intermediate pumping station, dewatering, mechanical thickening of excess sludge, and so on. And you can define the measuring systems. You get a preset, a standard preset, Based on all these information, you get additional results like the operational cost. Here you see the pumping station. You can edit the transportation height, the efficiency of the pumping station. You have the grid chamber, the screening, anaerobic digestion, dewatering, and so on. And as a result, you get the energy demand here, the pumping stations, the other processes, sludge amount, precipitants, and so on. You get a detailed documentation of your different calculations. Here, for example, for the design of the biological stage. You can export this to Word or to Excel. Here, I have, for example, the export to Word. You get a machine list. This machine list is automatically generated in Excel, matching to your way of calculation, and also all the values, machines, pumps, mixers you have taken out of the data banks are inserted here in the machine list. And you get a generated numbering system for all of the equipment. And the same also for the measuring. Also based on your calculation, you get a list of pipes, the oxygen efficiency. You can generate true scaled drawings here, for example, for the secondary sedimentation. You can export them for the further um, editing in CID software as DWG, DXF, picture. You get flowcharts of the waterline according to the way of design. For example, we have selected eight blowers, four lines of activated chambers, two secondary sedimentation tanks, two primary sedimentation tanks. And also here you can export it for a further CID software. The same for the sludge line. Based on the existing dimensions, you also have the information for the wall thickness. You get a mass calculation for excavation, concrete, steel. You can calculate the buoyancy. And you have a special tool to verify existing secondary settling tanks. And this all in several languages. For of course, English, German, a lot of Eastern European languages, 
Turkish, Chinese. And we have a list of constants you can edit because in the years, 25 years of um, developing this software, we got a lot of um, demands for changing some things or to go more in detail of the calculation. So you, here you have the possibility to edit a lot of parameters. That's a short overview over the functions of Aqua Designer. If you like to get more information, you can go to our homepage. Here at Downloads, you will find our huge manual with all the functions with the basics behind, a demo version, prices, and so on. Or you can feel free to contact us. We would be very pleased to hear from you. So. I hope this was um, interesting for you to show, um, to give a little overview about Aqua Designer, and I'm looking forward to hear from you. Thank you.